Hello, my name is Lisa and I'm a librarian at Fairfax County Public Library. This video will introduce you to the library's memory depot station for the Epson scanner, where you can transfer old photos, slides, negatives, and documents to a digital format. All of very detailed instructions can be found in this notebook and also on the research guide, memory depot research guide on the library website. You'll want to bring a flash drive or an external hard drive with you to save your materials. Anything that you work on on the computer will be automatically deleted when the session ends. So I'm going to go ahead and plug my flash drive in to the side port over, over here. And I'm going to start with photos. When we're using photos, we want to use a white reflective mat that staff will put in for you. So when I place the photos on the glass, I'm just going to, I don't have to line them up perfectly. So as long as there's three quarters of an inch of space, the scanner will recognize that each picture will be a separate file. So I'll go ahead and close that. And I'm going to click on the Epson scan, the scan to icon. And it's going to bring up some dialog settings. So for the scan settings, I'm keeping at default setting. The mode is photo mode. The document source is scanner glass. The document type is reflective. I'm going to go ahead and keep the image type as the 24-bit color. The resolution you can change anywhere from as low as 75 to as high as 12,800. I'll go ahead and keep it at 300 for this test. And down here under thumbnail options, I can click on the auto photo orientation to on. That way it will automatically try to detect whether a picture is right side up. I'll click OK. The file image format is the default is a JPEG. You can keep it as that or change it to a ping or a TIFF, a PDF. I'll keep it as a JPEG. The file name, I'm going to click on the drop down box next to the file name and click on settings. Here, I'll go ahead and put in what my uh, group of photos was. So I'll just say vacation. And I'm going to uncheck to date, the date. That's going to add today's date, so I don't want that. But I do want to use a file counter. So say I have 300 pictures from my vacation, and I only have time to scan 100 of them. I can number them 1 to 100 for the ones that I do today. And then when I come back another time, I can start at 101. You can change the number of characters. I'll keep that as four and click OK. And then under the folder option, the pictures will automatically be saved to RC drive. You don't want that. You want to save it to your own device. So I'm going to select, click on select and click on the memory depot D drive that I have over here. That's my flash drive and click OK. Now I'm going to click preview and see what the pictures look like. This can take a while, especially for slides, so you might want to bring something else to look at while you're waiting. Okay. So over here on this panel, you'll see that there is uh, there are separate files for each picture. If something looks weird and it's all jumbled together, check and make sure that the thumbnail is checked. If it isn't, then it usually scans everything as one image. So that's the first thing to look at if you seem to run into a problem. Um, my first picture is selected. Here I can go over to this one. I can rotate them if I want to. I would rotate here. When I feel satisfied that everything looks the way it should, then I'll click on scan. And this is the part that does take a while, especially for slides. So now my pictures have finished scanning and they pop up in um, this window. Here's vacation one, two, three, four, and five. I can see how it looks. If I'm not happy with the way it looks, I'll just rescan it. So that's how you do photos. If you want to save only a part of an image or page, 
or if your slides or negatives do not fit in our standard trays, then you can use the marquee tool. I want to save these two pictures from the city scene, so I will place my document on the glass, check the settings, and click preview. I'm going to zoom in here on the pictures. There is a crosshairs tool. I'm going to click on the left mouse button on the upper left of the picture, hold it down, and drag the mouse over to the bottom right and release. That creates a marquee, which is the box of dashes around the area that will be my first picture. And I'll do it again for the second picture. So click the left mouse button, hold, drag to the bottom right, and release. This will be my second picture. Then I'm going to the shortcuts menu and click on the Select All Marquee icon. It shows the number 2 in white. Once I click that, I'll click on Scan. That will save these two pictures from the document. Then when I click over here, I can see my first picture. and then my second picture. When I want to do slides or negatives, I don't want this white mat here, so I'm going to take this off. And when you come in to tell us what you have, we'll set this up for you. For slides and negatives, I want to use this um, piece here, and this goes in at the top there. And I'm going to use a tray for my slides. If you look at this triangle, right up here, this tray, that's going to align with the tab right here. So I'll put my tray in like this. The order of the slides that it scans will go from the top left down here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 through 15. When you put your slides into the tray, some of them have prongs. Uh, some of the prongs have fallen out. You can go ahead and just put it in. Just don't flip it over. So if it does have the prongs, you'll just want to slide it in between those prongs. You also want to put the text side up, and the detailed instructions are in the book. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and place the tray here. We have multiple trays, but we have found that it doesn't get all of the pictures if you do two trays. So I'll close this and I'm going to click on the X here that will get rid of the previous scans. Say yes to this box. Do I want to continue? And now for, photo, for slides, I want to change the scanner glass. I want to change that to transparency unit. The document type is going to be color positive film. And for resolution, we recommend that you do 1200, but for the purposes of this orientation, I'm going to keep it at 300. We also recommend that you do high scanning quality. Um, again, the thumbnail options, if you click that, it will try to get the photo orientation to be um, the right side, the right way. I'll click OK. And then again, you can change what type of file you want to save it as, what your file name is, and where you're saving it. Make sure that it's going to your flash drive. I'm going to click on Preview. Um, I can rotate it. Let's say that I got it backwards. There's a um, icon that I can check to mirror it, so that will flip it the other way. I can select all, say I've done them all wrong. I can mirror them that way. Oh, I guess I can't, so let's see. Okay, so say there's something that I don't really want to scan after all. I can X, click on the X and that will um, take it away from the screen so it won't be scanned when I click on scan. Up here I can see that that one is backwards, so I'm gonna mirror it. And this one is 
also the wrong way and I will rotate it. So when I'm satisfied with what I have, I'll go ahead and click on scan and that will save each, each image individually. Go ahead and do that. scan and this will actually save the images to my flash drive. So now my photos have finished scanning. I'll click on location six and that's that one. Location seven is this one. So that's how slides work. Okay the next thing that we're doing is negatives. So let me open this up Remove the tray from here. For negatives, you're going to, you can use one of these trays. Um, again, you'll want to have the transparency unit, so you want the light coming from both sides of the scanner. When you're loading your negatives, you're going to just place it in. Try not to touch the negative because that will leave smudges on your image. You'll just place the negative in this um, guide. There are pronged feet here. You put that into this end and pop it down. And again, it has this triangle. You're going to line that up with the guide here. And we'll go ahead and close the tray. I'm going to click the X over here to discard these images and start with something fresh. And so now I'm keeping this as transparency unit. I'm changing it to color negative film. I'll go ahead and leave the resolution at 300 and the scanning quality at standard. Again, the image format is a JPEG. The file name is going to be start with number nine and it's going to my flash drive. So I'll click on preview. If you want more detailed recommendations for what size file to use, take a look at the recommendations tab in the notebook. It has uh, different suggestions for the size of your original, what you're going to enlarge it to, or where you're going to use it. So displaying on the screen, sending by email, sending by fax. Okay, so now my images have finished scanning, and um, I can actually, over here, if I click the slider, I can make the thumbnail size bigger. That's really too big. Um, this one doesn't seem to be anything, so I'm just going to X out of it and delete that from when I save it. And let's see, let me go ahead and rotate that one. I can rotate this one. When I'm satisfied with how they look, I'll go ahead and click on scan, and that will save them to my device. You will get warnings at 40 minutes, 20 minutes, and 10 minutes before your session is going to end. So keep an eye on that. There is a clock down here, the session manager. If you click on that, it will tell you how much time you have remaining. When you're ready to end your session, you would click on end session and that will delete all of your um, materials. If there are anything stored on our computer, it would delete that. So when I click scan, this will go ahead and save everything to my flash drive. And then that's all there is to that. So now my pictures have finished scanning. I'll go ahead and click on number nine. And here's one of the cats. So when I'm finished with my project, I can just go ahead and close that. I can close this. I'm going to eject my flash drive. So I'll click on the icon to safely remove the hardware eject my device. I'll click on the clock and my session. Are you sure you want to end? Yes. And then just make sure that you take all your materials with you. Thanks for watching.